something about that little Sarah that I really like. Hi, Sarah. You're a good little calf, aren't you, huh? You're not scared of much. That's for sure. You're a good girl. Hi, guys. Y'all gonna come in and check it out, huh? Come on in. Come on in, check it out. string on so she can't kick it around in her So Tanisha can ask me, what are you doing with that thing? And I'll be like, uh, I don't know yet, but it's gonna be something good, I'm sure. Get the old tub a good rinse in, just so we don't have any plastic particles around. And float around inside of her. Welcome to SW Ranch. Today we're going to bed this barn up again because we have some rotten weather coming and the cows don't like being out in that. They don't mind being out in the wind and most of the time they don't mind the snow and the rain but when it's a combination of the two or three is what we're going to have, they get a little bit uh, they get a little bit antsy and they want to come in the barn. So I like to have the barn all bedded up nice for them and Harriet is showing signs that she's going to have her baby within the next couple days. So I'm going to lock her in so we don't have the calf born out in that rotten weather. But this time of year isn't the best time to have cows, but like I've said before, we don't hold them on a schedule. We don't try to breed in June and then aim for them in the spring. We don't have the facility set up for that yet. Come next year, that's what we'll have with the new property. We'll be able to separate them and we'll be able to control when they have the calves a little bit better, which would be nice. But this, right now, we don't have that, so they just have the calves. Whenever they're in heat, Big Mac does his job, and then we get babies nine months later. So she's bound, she's gonna have that calf here anytime soon, and I don't want her out in that weather having that calf, or the bulls harassing her while she's having that calf. So I'm gonna bring her in, lock her in for probably the next couple days until this weather system passes. If it's a nice sunny day, I'll let her out, then lock her back in during the night. But She's got to spend some time in here so that calf doesn't get cold and so the bulls aren't harassing her and stuff. I just try to trying to make it easy on her. She's an old cow and she needs the most help she can get. This should be her last calf on the farm, I believe. Um, we'll see what she looks like, but you can see she's getting pretty tired. She's carrying all that weight around. This will be her face. Let me see. We've had her. 
I don't know, I think three or four years, maybe. She was the start of the herd, so I'm gonna say three or four years, somewhere in that area, I don't know anymore. I didn't look back in the books. But she's given us a lot of calves. She's always been a great mother, always a great producer. But she's only ever given us bulls. Now, I really like Harriet, and I'm not a sentimental guy, but I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time getting rid of her because she just has been such a great cow, you know? I wish that I could just uh, let her die here on the farm, but that's not the way a farm works. That's just not that's just not practical on how a farm works. So I'm hoping that she throws a heifer calf because then I'd have one. Rita is her daughter, but everything else that she's had on this farm has been a bull. So we're going to hopefully have a heifer so I can carry her bloodline through and kind of keep her bloodline on the farm because she really is what started it all and really what got me wanting to do more. So I'd like to like to have a little remembrance, I guess, for better lack of term. Just something to just something to remember. I mean, we got Rita, but she wasn't born on the farm. So somebody that was born here on the farm would be fantastic. I don't know if you can hear that wind. But well, we're supposed to get like 35 mile per hour winds would gust up to 50 to 60 miles per hour tonight. Well, just I don't know. We'll say four or five days ago we had uh, another windstorm that sent winds of 70 miles per hour. And here at, at this at this farm we were out of power for I think two or three days. But National Grid just got everybody up. New York State still has a state of emergency, so there's still a bunch of utility crews running around. So hopefully, if the power goes down again, they'll. Uh, they'll be quick at fixing it i mean as far as i'm concerned they were pretty quick on fixing it anyways i think they did a great job i had a generator i have propane hot water and i have propane cooktop and we had the wood furnace going so i was pretty well set and power being out didn't bother me much besides not being able to go to work and get some stuff done but it wasn't too bad for me on this end not that i'm a big fan of losing the power i pay for it for a reason <laughs> But I know that National Grid does a hell of a good job of keeping up things and keeping utilities up and running. I don't know, that's a heck of a job being up in one of them bucket trucks on a windy day like today having to fix that power line. So we appreciate what you guys do. That old bale sat outside for long enough. I keep a few just for bedding. And uh, this thing has seen better days. Kind of moldy and everything else. But they're just gonna come in and poop on it anyway, so. I better put the mineral. I better put the minerals on this side of the gate, and then uh, get the water in here and the drain trough. Get the minerals out there for the cows and the drain trough over there for Harriet. And the water over here for Harriet.
I brought the minerals out from where it's, what's going to be Harriet's pen. Cage, pen, pen. We'll call it a maternity pen. Where Harriet's maternity pen is going to be so the other cows have access to the mineral block because she's not going to need any because I'll bring hers in in powder form. I threw in a little bit of good hay that I found out of this bale for her for the night. And then I'll probably go down to Cousin Tim's and get a few square bales to feed her for the next couple days so I don't have to bring a round bale in here and screw around with that. So it's nice and heavily bedded up. I'm going to take this bale out of here because there's a bunch of hay underneath it that I can't get and the netting's underneath there. So I'm going to take the tractor out of here, go dump that up on the hill so the cows can finish up what's resting there, lay on it, whatever they want to do with it. But uh, it actually turned into a pretty nice bale on the inside. It must be the rain just soaked into it. But let's go get that done and uh, we'll get those cows fed and then I'm going to bring Harriet down here and lock her in and she'll be in for the night. You know, something that should be easy as hooking into that bale and getting it out of there, which I thought it was still on the spear, seems to be turning into kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know if I took too much off it and I can't get into it now. Well, what the heck the deal is, when I can't get that bale on that spear. Big old hickory tree. That wind is really, really doing a good job today. It's supposed to get worse tonight. 50, 60 mile per hour winds. You're gonna know those are blowing. But we don't care. Screw it. It's Mother Nature. She's kind of a fickle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All I wish is that it would either freeze up or not. This frick wet. I'm so sick of everything being wet. Everything is soaked. No matter what you're doing, it's muddy. I mean, look at the ruts that that tractor's leaving. Those are those are two foot deep. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Number one, I worry about my cows falling in and breaking their legs or something or hurting themselves. It's just not good. And then you got all this water and stuff. It's just. I either want it to freeze up or turn in the summer. That's it. No other options. Had enough rain. Had enough wind. Should go buy a kite. It's awful. Cows don't care much though. They're they're such an easy animal. They're just kind of hanging out. You don't have to get up, Luna. I'm not gonna bother you. Hi guys. Hey buddy. What are you doing, dude? There's big Harriet. She's gonna go live in the the Hilton tonight. Just because. Everybody else decided to come down to the barn and see what was going on. But of course, Harriet's still up on the hill. So I'm going to go get her and get her in here, get her locked down. So these guys. Well, I had to go inside, and the battery for my GoPro died. So I had to go inside. So now I'm recording it on my phone. But as once I went in, all the cows decided to come in and check it out. And who did I find down here? Harriet. That's perfect. So if I can get her in the back corner and just get everybody else out. That'd be perfect, but we'll see. We'll see how she does. Hey, easy guys. Hey, hey, come on. Good girl, calm down here. Hey, 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 you're okay. Good girl, calm down. Good girl, Harriet. Good girl, get those two other ones out of here. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Good girl, Harriet. Good girl. Harriet's usually pretty easy to do stuff with. She's an awful nice cow, so she'll be happy in here for tonight.
Well, she's going to be able to check out her new digs. She should stay nice, high, dry, and warm. She'll get settled in. She's going to smell a bunch of stuff. Sway's coming in to see what's going on. What do you think, Sway? You want in there, don't you, huh? <laughs> good girl, Sway. You guys are good cows, aren't you, huh? Except for Big Mac, he tried kicking me on the way out. Jerk. Hi, Harriet. Hi, girl, huh? What do you think? Oh, what do you think? Let me go get you some grain. Grain and some water. You'll be a lot better off. Oh, you telling her it's going to be all right, Sway? Huh? You giving her a little reinsurance? Huh? Huh? She knows it's going to be okay. She knows I wouldn't do anything to her. Right? Huh? All right, so Harriet's got everything she could possibly want. She got two scoops of grain, which is a lot of grain for a cow. Nice big bale of hay in the corner. Nice warm spot out of the wind. A couple, I don't know, what I put in there, 20 gallons of water. She should be good to go. Do you see how big she is? That is one hefty cow right there. She's ready to have a baby. That's a 13 year old cow. She's done an awful good job for the farm. I really like this cow. I uh, really dread having to send her to sale or whatever we're going to end up doing. Got to figure it out. See what happens. Who knows? Maybe I'll let her die on the farm just because she's such a good cow. We'll see. Not much profit in letting them die here on the farm though, but we'll see. We'll see. She's been an awful good girl, so. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch me live my life on SW Ranch. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you want in the videos. There's a lot of stuff I can do, a lot of stuff I have to do. If you're liking the content, please like and subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful night. See you on the next one. Something about that little Sarah that I really like. Hi, Sarah. You're a good little calf, aren't you, huh? You're not scared of much. That's for sure. You're a good girl. Hi, guys. Y'all gonna come in and check it out, huh? Come on in. Come on in. Check it out.